Hey guys, good morning, it's Mike Chen. In this video of my first time traveling in the Bahamas trying Bahamian food and one particular dish, the conch salad, I couldn't stop eating it. And before getting to that, I just wanna give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, AG1. It's been a couple years now, this is still part of my daily routine. Wake up, a scoop or travel pack of AG1, eight to 12 ounces of water, I use sparkling when I can, shake it up and drink. And that just covered my daily nutritional basis with science-driven formulation of 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, whole foods sourced nutrients that aids your brain, it aids your gut, it aids your overall immune system. Of course, gut health is super important to me and AG1 has prebiotics, probiotics, plant-based enzymes that helps with digestion and overall gut health. I love taking this right before a workout. It really wakes me up, gives me more energy and that's because it contains B vitamins that support sustained energy throughout the day without the caffeine crash you get from Coffee. Also, I love that it gives me my daily dose of vitamin C, zinc, because I really don't like eating fruits. Like I said, I've been taking this for years. It's probably the best decision I've made for myself when it came to vitamins and supplements because I used to drag around half a dozen bottles of different vitamins. I didn't really know exactly what I should be taking. They were expensive, they rattled a lot, it was hard to travel with them. Now, one scoop, one travel pack, I'm good to go. So if you wanna give it a try, go to my link down below and you'll receive a one year supply bottle of D3K2 plus five free AG1 travel packs with your order. Welcome to the Bahamas. My first time here, I'm just staying for about a day and a half and I'm gonna do the best I can to eat my way through this island. Let's start now. And for my first meal, I am here at Fish Fry Road. And this block is littered with little restaurants, cooking up seafood, serving drinks. This place looks good. Shooty's Bar and Grill. And when you come to the Bahamas, one of the things you have to try, the national food of this country, conch. And they make it in all sorts of different ways. So here I got conch fritters, six giant golf ball sized conch fritters, piping hot. This is so freaking good. Outside crispy, fried, perfectly golden with such a satisfying crunch. Mm. The inside completely contrasts that with its tender and slightly chewy interior. The conch itself is so succulent and tender, slightly sweet, mildly briny with a hint of flavor of the sea. Also, the fritter themselves, tons of herbs and seasoning. There's so much flavor in this fritter alone. And that is paired up with tangy, spicy, creamy dipping sauce that adds additional zesty flavor to these fritters. From flavor to texture, this thing has it all. Mmm, oh, that's so good. This is the crack conch dinner, where tartar sauce, side of rice, plantain, and mac and cheese, which is another national dish here in the Bahamas. Crack conch, basically conch cracked open, chopped up, deep fried. Try this on its own. Mmm, mm, this is freaking out. Outrageous conk itself, if you never had it. It's kind of like a cross between calamari and a scallop. This is definitely the best conk I've ever had. It's slightly sweet and you get a little slight aroma from the ocean in the best way possible. But this thing, crunchy on the outside, succulent, deliciously tender. Conk meat on the inside. Eating this, I feel like I'm tasting conk for the first time. Chase it with some rice and beans. Of course, rice and beans are a very common side dish here. This tastes different than a lot of other rice and beans I've had. It's not very moist or mushy at all. And as you chew a lot of aroma from the spices they add, rises to the surface. It's a very, very aromatic dish. Mm. Also, this mac and cheese, look at this. Wow, that's delicious mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is so rich and savory. There's tons of spices in this as well, so it's gonna give you a nice kick of heat. The cheese flavor is sharp, it's robust, and unlike typical mac and cheese, which is very gooey and creamy and saucy, it's very dense. It's baked, so it's kind of almost looks like a casserole with a toasty layer of cheese on top. One bite of this. 
you know right away that's local comfort food. From the fritters to the rice to the sauce, there's so much spices, so much aroma, so many different textures. Awesome first meal here in the Bahamas. Someone told me there's a guy selling conch salad. It's supposed to be absolutely mind blowing. I'm gonna eat this and try to go find him. Here it is, I found a Willie D Kung Salad stand. This is a place where all the locals I've met told me to go to. This is it, my first ever conch salad. And this thing came straight from the shell, cut up with a bunch of lime juice and sour orange juice. There's some chopped onions in here as well, and this thing just looks beautiful. This is as fresh as you can get. I mean, this conch was still in its shell no more than five minutes ago. And this translucent kind of looks like a, like a rice noodle looking thing on top. And that's pretty much the proboscis of the conch, which many believe is an aphrodisiac. Absolutely phenomenal. This thing delivers a medley of bright and tangy flavors. The fresh conch meat itself has a really delicate oceanic flavor in the best way possible. It's slightly sweet, a little bit briny, and then that is beautifully contrasted by the sharpness of the fresh lime and sour orange juice. And that basically cooks the conch in a ceviche-like style. And the texture is slightly chewy, some parts of it very snappy. Mm. It just tastes absolutely tropical. It's one of the greatest things ever. Some parts of it is sweeter than the other, and that delicate flavor mixed in with the crunchy onions just goes to highlight that natural, sweet, briny flavor of the conch. This is the absolute best way to eat conch. Absolute best. All its flavors highlighted and pronounced. Every ingredient in here works so well with each other. This is just pure food addiction. It tastes so clean and sweet. Again, that wonderful hint of flavor of the sea. Try this conch organ. Tastes like a chewy noodle. It's got a very, very mild flavor to it. And when they give it to you, they're gonna ask if you want that particular organ or not. Say yes, you want every single little piece of this. This part just looks like a, looks like a conch claw almost. The more you chew the conch, the sweeter it gets. Also, I forgot to mention, this thing is spicy. What he did was he uh, chopped up scotch bonnet peppers, a very popular pepper here in the Caribbean, chopped it up with the salt, added it into the conch with all that juice. Halfway through, your tongue is on fire in the best way possible. With just so much flavor for your taste buds to process, it feels like my taste buds are laying on the beach underneath some coconut trees. That's what this tastes like to me. Absolute 10 out of 10, amazing. This place, if you're in the Bahamas, Check them out. Oh, that conch is so spicy. This really helps. This is a really fun couple of blocks. Tons of restaurants, there's music, there's fresh coconuts, fresh sugar gangs. Pretty fun first day here in the Bahamas. This island is pretty incredible. Having my lunch on the beach today, and lunch is whole fried red snapper with some plantains and chips on the side. Splash of lime juice. And this is a very common and popular dish here in the Bahamas. This is an awesome fried snapper. Mm. The outside skim is a perfect subtle crunch and it's seasoned very, very well. The snapper itself has a mild sweet flavor with a hint of nuttiness. The meat is lean, but very rich. I've had many a fried snapper before in my life, but here in the Bahamas, they fry it up with a local blend of herbs and spices. So this thing, it's just extra flavorful and it really enhances the natural taste of the snapper. That's pretty much island fish and chips. Dunk the snapper in a little bit of the bonnet pepper sauce. Mm. 
So in addition to that mild sweetness and, and the spices they add to this, we get that beautiful, delicious burning heat that only bond and peppers can bring. With all the added spices and flavor, this is such an interesting dish. A little fish collar. It's fried so well. A lot of the bones you can just crunch on it. I love eating the whole fish because there's so many different parts of it that you can enjoy. Like the tail, fish chip. <laughs> Dunk it in the bun and peppers, spicy fish chip. The fish meat beneath the crispy skin, absolutely tender and moist. Mm, fry whole snapper is a dish I've had a lot. This is definitely the tastiest version, by far. And if the heat from the scotch bonnet becomes a little too much, chase it with some fried plantain. Sweet, savory, yummy. Another reason why I love this dish, when you fried the fish, all that moisture and juice inside that flaky white meat, it's all preserved. So you get a nice crunch from the skin and a juicy bite of fish every single time. And to be able to eat this while stirring out at some of the clearest waters I've ever seen, makes this taste even better. I had to get out of the sun for a little bit. And right now I am at Curly's for some stewed conch. I didn't know, Guy Fury came here as well. Conch stew is a very popular local dish. It's usually cooked with tomatoes, onions, celery, peppers. Here I see some potatoes as well. Big old chunks of conch, and you can see a ton of spices in this stew. This is a very hearty, rich bowl of stew. You taste the tomatoes, the different spices. The conch itself, a little briny, a little sweet. The more you chew, the more of the sweetness of the conch releases on your taste buds. And it really gives the stew a very unique hint of brininess, like you're tasting the best flavors of the ocean. Do you have any uh, spicy? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I want. Thank you. They make their own hot sauce here. And what you want to do also, add some heat to the stew. Oh yeah, even better. I mean, this is a very comforting, hearty bowl of stew. Tons of different textures from the vegetables to the conch. And when you add some heat to it, it cuts through the richness and it highlights that nice flavor of the sea. This is my second time eating this dish and I have two very different versions of stew conch. It's one of my favorite local dishes. Also, got another order of cracked conch. This thing comes with fries, tartar sauce, crispy outside, inside that beautiful, slightly briny, Slightly sweet, very, very tender conch. Mm. I said this before, it tastes very much like a giant razor clam. And the more you chew, the more of that sweetness rises to the surface. Also, I got a very special local dessert coming too. This is a very traditional local dessert called guava duff. It's ripened guava paired with a pillowy dough drowned in this creamy sauce. Mm. This dessert is not playing around. It came with a ton of flavor. Wow. This thing is intense. You taste the sweet guava. The dough is tender, it's soft, it's pillowy, and the sauce incredibly buttery. I think there's some rum in here as well. I mean, this thing is sweet, it's rich, it's buttery. Splendid tropical flavors. Also, the guava's texture is a little grainy and it's all soaked in this intense velvety sauce. This is like the ultimate tropical bread pudding. I think I should have saved this dish for my last meal of the day. You definitely need a nap after this one. It's delicious though. So today is my final day in the Bahamas. I'm trying to eat as much as I can, go to all the places I want to go to. So my next stop is at Sonia's Jerk. Apparently this jerk is something you really would want in your life. But since it's not ready yet, I'm getting myself an oxtail. This is so nice sitting here. Right in front of me is just, just swaying palm trees and beautiful crystal clear waters. I'm literally on the beach and good food is coming. This is pretty much food paradise. Oh, this oxtail looks so good. And also sitting here for the last 10 minutes, just smelling that smoke coming from the grill. That thing will definitely whet your appetite. This is so, so good. Melt in your mouth, oxtail. Oxtail is one of my favorite things in the world. There's so many different textures of meat on here. The oxtail is cooked in all sorts of herbs and spices. The beans are creamy, delicious. The rice is fragrant. This is about 
as satisfying and as comforting as a meal can get. And what's even more perfect, it's in the afternoon now, so it's not as hot. I'm sitting here in the shade, perfect temperature. Everything's just beautiful, including the food. This is definitely a magical food moment. Mm. After I finish this, I'll see if there's some jerk chicken that's ready. Got the jerk chicken, and this thing smells incredible. This is worth the wait. The outside skin charred to absolute perfection. Even before adding the chili sauce, there's a good amount of heat on this chicken. And it's nicely balanced out by all the other spices and herbs. Outside is slightly charred, inside deliciously tender. You can almost chew the smoke that this thing is emitting. I've been smelling this place up and down the beach all day. Finally, craving satisfied. One last food item before I leave. I just kept thinking about this conch salad. Couldn't leave this island without having this one last time. The tropical conch salad filled with mangoes, strawberries. That mango is so sweet and goes so well with that citrusy conch. This is by far, at least for me, the best way to enjoy conch. You get all that great natural flavors and textures and different parts of the conch have different textures. This is where the sweetness of the conch really, really shines. And like I said, the ultra citrusy juice combined with the sweet fruit. This might be the best version of a conch salad. Last time I got the scorched conch, which is more spicy than anything else. Just way more tropical. I think it's way better. I mean, it still has a lot of heat, but this is way more of what you would imagine a tropical salad tastes like. Favorite, favorite thing in the Bahamas is just right here. So glad I got to eat it one more time before I leave. That was an awesome 24 hour food tour here in the Bahamas. Getting ready to fly out soon. And gotta say, I think I uh, don't have a single food regret. Like I said in the beginning, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Can't wait to come back. And as always, all the places I went to listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.